What's up, everybody? I'm going to give you a crash course on how to get noticed or how to maybe get a deal. All right, first things first. Facebook. You got to have a Facebook. That's number one. Number two, Twitter. You got to have a Twitter. And you got to be active on your Twitter. You keep, don't keep it private. Keep your Twitter available for anybody to follow people. You're not um, Kanye West or Lady Gaga where you don't have a million followers. No. You have to follow people. Next, YouTube. Get your YouTube popping. Don't do original, original songs. You do a couple original songs, but if you want to get it if you want to get your YouTube popping and get listeners, get some cover songs. If you, especially if you're a singer, sing some Beyonce songs that you're good at, or just kill it with the just every every other day, every two days, every three days, every four days, or every once a week, at least put up a cup a new cover song. That's gonna get the people seeing the range of your voice, knowing that you can you can hang with the best or you can do a song just as good as the 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 artist that did the song did it. You know, you're not stealing the song, you're paying homage to this to the artist or to the song. Or it's just a song that you like and you just wanna do it justice. Um get get a reverb nation. Reverb nation is uh is basically almost like the new MySpace. You know, you, it's a little difficult to operate, to, you know, to get around at first, but trust me, you'll get the hang of it, and it's free. And still, MySpace is not dead. Get your MySpace popping again. Clean it up, take all the garbage off of it, whatever you got, and put some songs up there. You know, you don't think that MySpace is dead. You know, MySpace is still popping. People still can go there and listen to your music and see your, your little videos and whatever, you know. Um, also, um, what else? Your Reverb Nation SoundCloud. Get your SoundCloud going, um, so you can so on your Facebook you can throw your you know your music on there. Um, you can do that with um, with SoundCloud. You can do it, you can do it with Reverb Nation as well. Um, and also link your YouTube to your Facebook, so that when you put a video up on your YouTube, you can share it with your with your um, Facebook and your Twitter. Um, also, let's see, <clears throat> once you get those, you know, um, just promote, you know, it, it gets annoying sometimes, but post your video up on people's pages, on their YouTube pages, um, you know, if you got 500 friends, then guess what, you're going to have to do a lot of work, because everybody's not on Facebook at the same time, so if you put a video up there, and, and they have 200 friends, most likely they're not going to see your, what you posted unless they keep going back or they check your page and they're going to look on the news feed so you got to keep that constantly going don't think because you did it for a week that that's good enough no that's not good enough keep doing it keep posting videos keep doing it ask people what they think about your videos um you know things like that try to um involve yourself on your twitter try to involve yourself in um trending topics um you know you're gonna you're gonna get more friends by participating in the trending topic. So keep you know keep up with that. Um, what else? And do music, man. Just keep keep doing music. Start you know make sure the quality's good. And I keep telling people like I understand you you know you save money you're recording your house in in your bedroom, but that's not gonna cut it. You got to go somewhere. A studio or something where you can feel the vibe, you can feel the energy. There's nothing like the energy of being in a studio. You know, it, it's it's pretty cool. Yeah, you're in your room, you're saving money, you, you're doing these tracks. You know, you learn how to use Pro Tools a little bit, or you're using another program, and you're pretty good at it. No, that it's not the same. Trust me. When you when you go to a studio and there's other artists in the studio and there's beats being played loud and there's everything is going on. It, it, it just is the feeling of being in the studio that's just it's just crazy 
you know, and that's where you need to be. And plus, you run into people. Um, we got Jaws Zilla down here. You know, he's got crazy connections. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. I just don't understand how the people around here aren't reaching out to, to Zilla for for some of you know for some of his knowledge, some of his connects for help. Because he he do, he knows what he's doing. He's got uh, he's got music out there. You know, he's got music out there. He's helping a lot of people. Um, great producer, engineer, and you guys are like, what are you doing? Like, it, it, it makes no sense. You're trying to save a dollar, and you, and you just, you, you're smothering your own self with that. Um, spend some money. This this thing, if you want to be an artist, it, it takes, is money, sweat, and tears. That's what it is. So you're going to, you're going to spend some money. Don't think that you save, you're not saving nothing. You, you, you're just hiding yourself. Um, so get your ass down to the studio. Um. Get some original beats, man. Come on. Stop using what is it? Um, sound clicks. Um, sound. Come on, man. Get some original beats. We got a million producers in Poughkeepsie. I'm a producer. So you got Slim. You got me. You got Slim Jim. You got Slim Tim. Um, you got Jawzilla. You got Billy Badass. You you got. There's a, trust me. There's a million producers around here. Get original beats. Stop. Come in the studio with a B C D that's looped and has this thirty seconds of the loop and then you want me to then you want me to loop it when you get here. Come on man. Alright, yeah, do it for a mixtape or something like that, but you have you, been talking about don't talk about getting a mixtape for three years. You know, do your tracks, get a cover done, get the cover sent out, put it in a case, get some CDs, and put it out. You keep, people keep talking about, oh, I'm put out a mixtape, I'm put out a mixtape. I've been hearing this for years. Every And the same people, you know, it, it, it's ridiculous. Get together, man. Get together and put out an official mix. And stop doing your man's Photoshop trying to do a cover because it ain't working, man. Go to somebody that does covers for a living. That That's their job because they're going to give you the best results. That's my boy, Moon Best. You know what I'm saying? He got crazy covers. If you check out his Facebook, you'll see that his cover, you know, Miami Chaos. Looked out for him. You know what I'm saying? Now, that's a cover. The little things that y'all doing with these kids, you know, trying to do your own little cover. Come on, it ain't working, man. It ain't working. I'm not buying it. Don't come with no CD. Stop, stop coming with these CDs like this. It's ridiculous. Memorex, come on. Step your game up, man. Get some blank CDs. Get some blank CDs, silver tops. Get silver tops. Spend some money. It's cost $16, man. Come on. Get them duplicated. Don't come out with 100 CDs and have them in your car sitting around. And you're not handing them out, or you're not giving... Nobody don't want to buy your CD, man. Come on. Give them shits out. Give them out to people. Go to the colleges. They're going to love it. You you want everybody to have your CD. Yeah, you spent money on it, but it costs money. You think because you spent $30 on getting CDs copied that it's going to break you? If, 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 listen, if that's going to break you, you need to quit today. If you think that's going to if that's going to break you and, and, and you can't handle that, it costs too much, it's... Then you, why are you doing it? Because you're going to spend a lot more money than that. Or are you just doing it for fun? If you're doing it for fun, God bless you and hope you have a good night. Peace. I'm out.